So in 2023, location tracking is a very serious issue. And literally every single application that you use tracks your location. So spoofing your location isn't a horrible idea, especially if you're dealing with a confidential project or need to access some sort of website or game without having your actual location be revealed. That's where the people over at Tenorshare come into play with their software called iAnyGo. It's a location spoofing software and it actually allows you to fake your location to absolutely anywhere in the world that you'd like. And it doesn't involve you hopping on a plane, going there, you literally can do it at home from your computer. But with that being said, the link to download it will be down below in the description. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into it. All right, so I'm on Tenorshare's website and I quickly want to highlight the different features of the software before I actually show you how to use it. So you can see right here, iOS 17 supported, which is very important. Freely change GPS location anywhere in the world without a jailbreaker root. GPS joystick to flexibly control the direction of movement in games to make it seem more realistic. Works with all location-based apps such as Pokemon Go, Monster Hunter, WhatsApp, Facebook, etc. And this also does work for Snapchat, which I'm gonna show you later in the video. And we can see right here, it shows the different features as well as if we scroll down, it shows the joystick controls. You can see that's what it does. It just kind of shows the different features live almost in the app. You can also create a customized route, which is also really cool to like, have it walk like automatically in those games. So that's super cool. And and there is some advanced stuff like the adjustable moving speed, customizable, you know, up to 15 devices, cooldown timer, zoom in and out, favorite routes, all that stuff. And this is kind of a highlight of the iAnyGo iOS app versus the desktop. And that is pretty much that. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna download the software. We're actually gonna check it out. So let's do that. So right here we can see we have the four main features along the left side of the screen, starting off with the change of location feature, which is the main one. So we can see change of location, we're able to change the GPS location on the device to select coordinates. This works with different games, dating apps, travel apps, etc. And I'm going to show you how we actually use that in a second. Then single spot movement. We also have the ability to import GPX files, which is like GPS stuff. And it will allow us to customize a route to move to. And we're able to specify the specific speed that we want it to actually move at. So we can make it faster, slower, all that good stuff. Multi-spot movement actually is the route that I was talking about before the customized route. We're able to actually customize a route that we want the character or ourselves to walk in a game or on Snapchat to make it seem realistic, like we're almost driving or walking, that kind of stuff. And then lastly, the joystick movement. This is fully customizable. You can literally just set a starting location and then use the joystick to just move all around. And that's kind of how you do that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the change location feature. So I'm going to go enter and then it's actually going to ask us to connect our device. So I'm going to quickly change camera angles and I'm going to show you how I do that. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but I have the Apple wire right here lightning to USB. So what I'm gonna do, let me quickly show you. I'm actually gonna plug in the USB side to my PC right here. So I'm gonna flip this around, plug that in just like that. And coming down here to my phone, I'm gonna grab that. And then what we're gonna do, we're just going to plug that in. All right, so we can see that my iPhone is actually connected. So I'm just gonna go like this, go to next. And I actually have to unlock my phone. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, my phone's actually at 14%. I probably should charge it. So we can see that all we have to do now is we got to go to settings from there. We have to go to privacy and security. So I'm just doing this on my phone right now, following along, scroll down to developer mode, and then we're actually going to turn it on. I don't know if you guys can see right there, developer mode, just like that, turn it on. And we just need to restart our phone. So let's get to restart the device. So I'll just see you guys once I've actually restarted it. And yeah. All right. So my phone is restarted. Now we're just going to go to next and I got to unlock the lock screen real quick should be good. We're going to try again. All right. So activated. Okay. So I fully have my thing blurred out right now because I'm not trying to dox myself. So just like that, we can see that our location is in downtown Vancouver, which is where I live. Let me quickly show you on my snap maps on Snapchat, just to show you that it's actually working right now. As of right now, my location is in Vancouver. I don't know if you guys can see right there that's me with the pink just like that that is me on snap maps now let me quickly move my location to somewhere like california so what i'm gonna do is i am going to scroll down to california right here scroll in we're gonna go to anaheim and i'm actually gonna put myself inside of disneyland so we're gonna press start to modify continue let it do its thing it has actually changed our location to disneyland we're on disneyland on snap maps now so that's super cool all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go over here to the single spot movement we're gonna go to my my phone right here and this is actually a cool feature all we got to do is literally set a location and we can set the speed we're gonna do like biking speed and we will do round trip so we're gonna do start to move continue and it's actually gonna move us automatically and let's see i'll quickly show you 
we can see i don't know if you guys can yeah there you go i'm moving right here while the thing is running it's actually moving our character on snap maps which is super cool now i can pause it and stop it if i want and it will just keep us where we were the multi-spot movement super cool because we can set multiple points i'm not going to show that because it's literally the same process as the other one now joystick movement is the one i wanted to show you guys so basically what we can do is we can set our speed to whatever we can literally just use the joystick to like walk around and looking at my phone right now hold on let me quickly show you guys with my phone All right and then i'll quickly join joystick using my mouse you guys can see that it's moving us around so that's that's super cool that's a really cool feature i can't lie um but yeah that's pretty much that and obviously you can affect the speed let me quickly just show you guys on this right here i'm gonna change it to car speed we're gonna go 30 kilometers an hour we're like zooming we're outside of disneyland now but basically anybody looking at our location would be able to see all that it works with any app that actually involves your location and that's pretty much all there is to it if you guys do enjoy it you want to check out the ionigo software by tenor share make sure to go check out the link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment massive shout out to you guys for supporting if you guys did enjoy like comment subscribe and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.